I figure since all the other big YouTubers are doing Rolls Royces now, I probably should hop in one too. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. I just got the call that there's an actual Rover rescue happening right now, and I'm headed over to Sports Car Workshops to check it out. It's a V8 Rover, which most of them were, but it might not be the Rover you're expecting it to be. So I'm headed over there now. Check them out, they're linked in the description below. They work on my cars, they should work on your cars too. Let's see what happens today. All right y'all, I saw it being loaded on the transporter trailer when I pulled up. I apologize for the wind noise, there's nothing I can do about that, but uh, yeah, cool, this is a neat car. Check this out, a 1970 Rover P6 V8 3500S US spec with power windows, air conditioning, an automatic. I'm fairly certain those didn't come on too many of the British spec ones. Isn't that cool? Logo there in the middle of the deck lid. Or, I'm sorry, the boot lid. Fuel filler cap. It's a better shot of the interior here. I've wanted to see this thing move for a long time. And it's been sitting in the back. I wonder what that tape is. Joan Sebastian Bach, I guess. Of the power window controls there and the air conditioning controls this is one cool ride it really is i'm so glad i got a chance to come over here and see it get loaded up and hopefully be taken away for restoration because they are really really rare and uh at least in the states and it really needs to be fixed up and put back on the road it's, it's not in terrible shape um yeah this is a really cool car and i don't want to discount the fact that this truck is really cool too when was the last time you saw one of these really cool so uh, what's your plan, See this Tyler? thing uh, get loaded up on the trailer now. Oh, oh, kind of there she goes, up on the last trip out of the shop. I really love the badge on the deck hood. Cool yeah, it really is. I've always liked these. I said that little thing on the front is for ice sensing. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure those came on the US spec ones because I did some research on it when I first saw it here like like a year ago and I was like what the heck is that thing? And all the badging and everything yeah. great. I mean, so it's, it's going to the original owner of this car. Like from 1970? Yeah. Is that one? Remember he came by says? before we went on the rover thing? The, the wintergreen trip? And oh okay. Picture of it, and this okay. is his car. So I guess he sold to somebody and he that's really cool. I told him we had some rovers here. He wanted to look at some Range Rovers, and I said, well, we've got well, the sedan. And he goes, is it, yeah. is it this off teal tan color? I yeah. Said, yeah, and he's like, he sent me a picture and said, that's my car. It, so. the, the tag almost looks like it's hand painted. I could probably someone just paint it over it because it was rusty, but. <laughs> Man, it really is cool. It's even got the, the vinyl, like on the Ranges. Original wheel trims. I would love to hear this thing start up. We know that's not going to happen, but how cool is that? This car headed back to its original owner from 50 years ago. The car is 50 years old. Not too many people around bought a car new in 1970 are going to get the car back. They've either moved on or they're not owning cars anymore. That's really cool. And I really hope it gets back on the road soon. Um, maybe if we're lucky, the guy will send us some pictures of it or video of it moving because it sat right back there for as long as I've been coming here. And uh, I've always wanted to see it move. It had a tarp over it, and the tarp just kind of got threadbare over the years. So I'm, I apologize for being ridiculous, but this is a really cool car, and I'm really happy to see it go <laughs> into a new home, to a good home. And even the door handles with a separate button. How cool is that? Definitely something you don't see anymore. Not at all, not even close. There's just a running Rolls Royce right here, so I'm gonna take the opportunity to hop in this too, because how often do you get to hop inside a running Rolls Royce? Cool, I still love the fact that this has this old school GM stereo from the from like the 1987 Buick Park Avenue, and then huge outside temperature gauge and clock, and then all the, the cool chrome, the weird temperature dials and all the gauges and everything. I figure since all the other big YouTubers are doing Rolls Royces now, I probably should hop in one too. Although I'm not buying one, that's for sure. And I'm certainly not buying one for $1,400 like JR did. <laughs> what a steal. <laughs> there it goes. Leaving the shop. 
Bye, Rover. Go on to a better life. Thanks, y'all, so much for uh, watching this impromptu rover rescue here and uh, the car on the shot. So you can see it one last time as it pulls away. I uh, really appreciate everybody watching all these rover videos I've been doing. And this is an actual rover, not just a Range Rover. So for the folks in the UK, it really is rover rescue. And I uh, <laughs> just appreciate each and every one of you watching my videos. And um, check out Sports Car Workshops. Again, they're linked below. They have all of these cool cars here that they work on. And if you need work done on your car, this is a good place to go. Mike, Troy, they'll, Alex, they'll help you out. And um, we got, you know, Wooderson is here, the Wagoneer, and uh, my rover's been worked on here a ton of times. So please check them out. Once again, y'all, thanks so much for watching and keep subscribing and um, hitting that little bell button if you want to get notifications when I post a new video. I try to post videos at least once a week if I can. So really appreciate everyone watching. Thanks, y'all.